Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, what we're going to be talking about today is another inking technique that I'm very fond of. This is in preparation for the one and only Inktober. Inktober is to draw an ink drawing every day of October. It is an amazing project started by Jake Parker several years ago. And you can go look at all the information in the history of Inktober. I'm going to link it down below in the info box if you want to go read up on how Jake Parker started up that whole initiation. It's super easy. He's already got the prompt list up. Here it is right here. So I'm very, very excited. So another awesome technique is to draw with a ballpoint pen. You see this, this is just a regular ballpoint pen. There is nothing special about this ballpoint pen at all. Yet this is how I started my first Inktober's, was only using the technique called crosshatching and a ballpoint pen. The technique of crosshatching is making these individual lines, but shading with crossing over it like this. So for example, I have this circle. Now I could just lightly trace my circle or lightly line my circle and I can just go right outside the line of my perfect circle I just made, of course. So what you could do with crosshatching is if something, let's say the light is hitting right here. So I have my light source hitting right here. So that means my shading is probably going to start over here. It is literally just crossing over and over and over. So if I go over it, the more I go over my cross hatching, the stronger my shading gets. So you see, I just keep going over it and over it. It's just like Xing it. It's kind of a crazy technique with entangles. If you've done entangles before, you know how you try to go in different directions. The closer you get and keep going over it, the closer your lines get, the darker your cross hatching becomes. So to get lighter, all you would have to do is make your lines more spread apart. But the darker you want to get, you bring those lines closer together. I really, really want to get dark. I'm just making individual lines. But on top, where that light is hitting, no lines at all. Everybody has a different technique when it comes to cross hatching. Some cross hatching is just lines that are very, very close together. There is a couple of comic book artists that use lines really, really close together. And then it gets to the point where it's just this really thick line. Let's say if we start with a thick line and we get super, super close. So you can see it almost just looks like I am still picking up my pen, but I'm making individual lines to make them get closer together. When the light hits, of course, we don't want that many lines to touch. So we let those light sources in between the middle of our lines but when we get to the shadow parts, we get closer and closer together. Now you could easily jump into this technique and make it darker by going in the other direction and making it darker. And then you would go over in another direction. It's going in different directions, but there's still individual lines that are making up that cross hatching. We have here Spirit and Rain from Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. It's an amazing movie. If I haven't seen it yet, if you love horses, then you know this movie. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with my regular Bic round stick pin, I'm going to go in and I'm going to line everything first, and then I'm going to start shading it cross hatching, but I'll talk to you in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and line. I sketched this out with a pencil, which is completely fine. Please know if you're participating in Inktober, you are allowed to sketch in pencil. You do not have to go in blind with just the ink pen. Make sure you know that. One thing you want to be very wary about is that when you go to erase any pencil sketches with your eraser, make sure that your ballpoint ink is completely dry, like what you just made, because 
ballpoint ink has a bit of a tendency to smudge. So let's look up here. If I just made this up here, boom, it ruins the whole drawing. <laughs> Unless you can work with it, which I have tried to work with before. Another thing about this pen, this kind of brand, it doesn't really clump as much because sometimes if you're coloring with a ballpoint pen, it leaves behind like glumps of ink. I've seen that before, but this brand is pretty nice to wear, you know, Bic round stick can not really clump up as much. So let's take a look at Spirit because he's all yellow and Rain has a ton. She's a paint horse, so she's got all kinds of markings going on. So let's look at Spirit first. I have a really dark shadow underneath his neck. So I'm going to start going back and forth not back and forth, I'm just gonna start bringing down my overall lines underneath his neck. And I'll go over those definite lines that I made. And then I'll even do like a little bit of some cross hatching up around his chin or face. And then his markings are that they go up and down across his nose and out to here. So we'll get to that in a second, but let's look at the shadows right now underneath his neck. As soon as I made those, or those diagonal, I'm gonna make some diagonal lines across here, making it very, very dark. And you see my lines are super close. That means it's going to get, it means that it'll get close and really darker to each other. And then I'll go in the other direction and make those lines darker. And I'm just going back and forth. I'm not scribbling or anything. And then I'm gonna bring down a couple more lines to here. I'll darken his eyebrow first. Go underneath his eyebrow. Now I'm starting to use the technique where I'm getting really close together. So I am still picking up my pen. I'm just making really close lines as opposed to going like this. I'm, I'm still making individual lines and picking up my pen. Spirit's muzzle. So you can see I don't really have as much shading guide when it comes to Spirit because he's pretty flat. The only definite shadows were underneath here and alongside here and underneath here and underneath his eyebrow. So I had to imagine the light source hitting directly on top of Spirit and kind of hitting where his muscles are kind of sticking out as opposed to the shading of his muscles. So you can see with the lighter areas I did more of a wide grid when it came to cross hatching and I also went really soft with my pen. Pressure with your pen can definitely make things darker. So if I were to really go like this and press down hard, then you can see that it really does make a difference in making it darker. But the lighter I go in to do my cross hatching, you see how nice and light that is. Let's say I'm going to actually color in with my ballpoint pen his overall muzzle. So I am going back and forth. I am not picking it up and making individual lines for my cross hatching. I am lightly shading in his muzzle because that's his marking on his face. So I'm gonna go lightly shade it in. So you can color with ballpoint pens too. It's absolutely possible. Go in and I shade and lightly color. I can go in and start making my individual lines, making that little darker because this is a really brown muzzle and I'm still picking up my pen now that I'm using more of my crosshatch. I'm not coloring it in, I'm just using more of a crosshatch to shade that in. Now I'm gonna use the crosshatching again. I'm gonna go underneath his little nostril area. Right, there we go, there's his one muzzle. When it comes to cross hatching with hair, I don't do it. I just do the same thing that I would do if I were using a regular pencil. I would actually make the individual strands. I go in, 
let's say we'll start with this top strand so we've got tons of hair here it's clumped off to the side and I leave a little bit of area for the shine in the middle and then I'll start again making that nice and dark and I'm using really really hard pressure right now on my pen so I still make individual lines so I'm still going like this and then I'll leave a little area in the middle and continue upwards. We know that Rain is a completely different horse. I'm gonna let you watch how I would color Rain in. Now she has a lot of differences, like she has a lot lighter hair. I was just trying to make this as dark as possible because we all know Spirit has super dark brown hair. I'm not gonna put as much pressure onto her hair, but I'm still gonna make it super dark at the bottom. And she's got all kinds of markings all over, so I'm gonna jump into a time lapse so you can see how I would go ahead and cross hatch Rain. Another thing I would like to do is go around and darken some lines. So I'd go in and I would just kind of darken every single line that's definite. The technique I, show, I showed you last week with using ink as a watercolor, what I did all last year, so this is all ink, this is actually an iridescent ink, you see how shiny she is? This is Chihiro from Spirited Away. So I used the watercolor technique with ink, and then I cross-hatched all over her to add more depth to the shadows. And I said to you guys the other day that they make the purple ballpoint pens too. It's by Bic, it's round stick grip. I hope you guys will give it a try this year in Inktober. And I hope you'll give it, give it a try with the watercolor technique that I use with ink. Go and check that video out. And I hope you all participate in Inktober this year. Bye! -bye.